What did you think of the horse this morning, Derek? Ah, oh, that was nice. Uh, that was a nice school. Can you tell me about him? How was yeah, he? Yeah, he's a nice four-year-old by Ask. He came through the Land Rover sale in the spring. He's very straightforward to train. As you found this morning, he's a good jumper. Mm. And good attitude on him. He's not without a bit of pace as well, so hopefully a bit better ground will suit him really well when he runs too. He's going to run hopefully in the four-year-old only maiden at Edgecut the first weekend of April. If all went well, we'd love to send him on to Aintree after that really. Took my eye also as the horse that Gina rode. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about him. He's, a, Sp he's a Spanish moon four-year-old um, out of a sister to Silos Emery. His work is exceptional at home. He was just perhaps not quite so natural with his jumping early on, but he's really got the hang of it now. I was chuffed to see him do what he did this morning. You know, as you guys quickened up, he, he, he didn't fall apart. He, he was quite assured of himself, which was nice to see, really. He hopefully will run this weekend. Yeah, another one that you'd love to target a sale like the entry sale, really. Yeah, very, he's very good. He's taken a while to come to hand. He hasn't been the most natural to jump, but he's really getting the hang of it now. And um, that was his first away day, and he, he jumped super, travelled very strongly, finished really well. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to riding him now. I was taken by the professionalism of the whole thing. That's what really kind of caught my attention this morning. That uh, the schooling went so well. You're so particular about your preparation, and uh, very nice horses. Your approach and your training techniques uh, are so similar to what we do in Ireland and we've built up a, a great business doing it. Is it something that you hope to develop and grow from strength to strength? Yeah, definitely and I think you've obviously got something that works over there and, and we've got to try and copy the same thing in a way, putting our own touches to it perhaps, but you know, at the end of the day we're trying to reach the same end goal and that's produce a nice young horse that can go on and further his career. And it's important, I think, to do the homework properly and the next man will thank us for it, hopefully. Give us a couple of names there that have been through the yard. Yeah, we've had, we've had a couple of good ones now. Um, we sold one very well at the golf sale at Aintree called Eurobot. He went to Giggenstown. Noel Mead trained him. Um, he's, he's turned out to be quite a good horse. Um, striking the pose, he went to Tizard's. Um, he's a 130 rated chaser now. Um, and Ben Paulin's also got Harper's Brook. Um, he won a novice hurdle quite impressively and they think the world of him. I think really in touching on horses who have come through English point of points, it's, it's like the best kept secret at the end of the day, really. Yeah, like yeah. Santini won an English point of point, although he didn't go for a, for a sale. The more we can get through our hands, the, you know, the, the better stock we're going to keep getting and hopefully produce these top class horses. Yeah.